Its perfumes are all natural and its packaging both recyclable and made from renewable resources. Wellington's Pacific Perfumes founded its business on sustainability and that foundation is paying dividends. Its co-founder Kate Jason Smith is with us now. Good morning to you Kate. Good morning Nadine. Just explain to us a little bit more about the products that you're producing here. Well, we make a cream perfume, which is also known as a solid perfume. Uh, we didn't invent cream perfumes. They've been around for about 100 years. But we did two things. One is that we make a very good quality cream perfume. And second, we package it in a very desirable, exciting little box. Now, for about seven years, we've made a perfume that we sell as a tourist item. We sell it around New Zealand, around the Pacific. It's like a little wooden ball that looks like a, a nut or something that you found on the beach. And that has sold very well. I mean, most women who are watching will have seen it. Now, about a year ago, we decided that we wanted to explore the possibility of making a perfume that was completely botanical, completely natural, because most of the commercial perfumes you get today are not natural, they're synthetic. And so we explore that at some depth. The other part of Pacific Perfumes, Francesca Bryce, she's a perfumer. And uh, so we developed this and we realised two things. One is that it's much more expensive to do that. And secondly is that because of its uniqueness and its qualities that we needed to create a packaging around it that reflected that. And of course the packaging had to be completely sustainable completely natural and follow all those ecological principles. So how difficult was it to get it to live up to those standards that you'd set? Well, getting the design itself ended up being quite easy. And why it was quite easy was because the Wellington Massey Design School uh, d d presented it to their students as a, as a, as a um, project. And out of that, we got some magnificent designs and one that was just striking. So it was a Wellington designer um, student, Mike Peters, who designed it. Taking it from there and actually getting it so you had thousands of them was another job, but you know, that's part of it, isn't it? And, and this is the packaging that is now award-winning? Yes. We have won an award in New York, an International Packaging Design Award, and we were up against a subsidiary of Estee Lauder for that. And just on Friday, we won the Judges Special Award at the New Zealand Packaging Environmental Design Awards. Well, very well done. Uh, the Thank New you. York Award, I understand, actually helped to open some doors for you. Yes, it's been fascinating. We've had so much interest from all over the world as a result of that. We are, I mean, we want to export to further the, around the world than just the Pacific. And uh, we're look, talking to some people now about where that's where we're really interested in going. The world. The world. <laughs> Anywhere specifically? Uh, America. And it's, you know, the people who are interested in this new product are the um, eco-friendly market. People who are interested in natural products. And that's Europe and America and more and more Asia. But you want to keep the manufacturing here? Yes, yes, yes. We do, absolutely. Um, of course... I mean, it's such a big question, really, isn't it? But it's, that's what we do. Is yeah. that part of, I guess, the value proposition when you're looking at something that's natural and sustainable, yeah. that, uh, that New Zealand is part of the brand? Yes, it certainly is. It certainly is. But, you know, it, there's so many people who, when they're doing natural things, they th don't cross their eyes and dot their T's. Or, no, it's the other way around. But especially with the packaging, you know, you get uh, something that's meant to be natural, it's, it's a package from plastic. We just didn't want to go that way. We wanted to go the whole hog with and the be consistent. Thing. Well, we wish yeah. you luck. Thank, Thank you, you very Kate. Much. That is Kate Jason-Smith from Pacific Perfume. Mm -hmm.